Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Ashes to Ashes series 3 episode 5. It's been a while since I've filmed Ashes to Ashes. Well, when I say a while, I mean like two weeks. Um, number one, I've just been so busy. Um, number two, I've been obsessed with Stranger Things. And number three, I have just been so busy. So, here I am. Let's see if we can find out a little bit more what's going on. I mean, I just don't, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, you guys are probably laughing at me every time I say, let's see if I can find out a little more what's happening. You're probably laughing. I just do think this all revolves around Jean, the whole concept of him being like a genie. I don't know, granting wishes, something along that line. Um, and obviously Alex is diving more into Sam Tyler, which I really like. I find very exciting. Also, my camera's crooked, so I apologise. And let's crack on. He's stylish. He's modern. He knows what he wants. And he gets it. Fine. Sam Tyler jacket. Stylish. Fine. Modern. Seductive. Also, in fact, his number plate has July on it. For a measly two grand, some soft ass judge lets him walk with nothing more than a Chinese burn. You know how it works. So you would have fit him up to make it look like something far worse. Something more deserving of scum who steal from police widows, yes. You can't do that. Why not? Sends out a clear message. Don't mess with us and ours. All right, Jean. There is a lot of testosterone, isn't there? You used to work with him. No. Thanks, Chas. Stop it. <laughs> I love Chris so much because he doesn't change himself. Come on, leave the you so bunny with work to do. Raymond. Put us in on your grasses. I can say when someone's being nosy. Or clever. Troglodyte means cave dweller. He might have shagged you away this far, girly. But don't come here with me. Handbags at dawn. Your DI is an offensive moron. I've heard about this. When women work together, their periods start to coincide, don't they? It's very emotional all at once. Right. Let's kick some bones. I couldn't cut. I just couldn't deal she with that. Francis. It's a toilet. Another bloody comedian. Come on. Since when have you surrounded yourself with toy boys, Jane? Come here. Gov. Not now, Christopher, I'm gloating. No, Gov. Straight and shouts. Oh, Drake, don't you bloody dare. Mm. Has anybody seen Frank Hardwick? Who wants to know? D.I. Drake's C.I.D. Oh, you're not the average fascist bully boy. You must be police intelligence. Oh, or is that a contradiction? This is constant. Like, faces I recognise. Oh, 20 years time, you'll be fat. Oh, I'm writing soft rock musicals now. Where is Frank Hardwick? I'm sexist. Please don't hurt me, officer, please. Oh, get out of the way, you pink old oh. hoof. It's been shot. <laughs> Let's just before the shots when we were heading for Hardwick. You were right on my shoulder. You were after. What? Mm. Nothing. 
they were behind shot. him, weren't they? Bastard got shot at. Transferring him back to Manchester. Yeah. Transferring him back to Manchester. You know, I'd love to have blazed it, and the DA trade released him half an hour ago. We did what? We held him too long without charge. There was nothing to book him with, so... Couldn't you have made something up, you stupid bloody woman? No, I couldn't, because that would have been breaking the law, Chief Inspector. I love I it when she's patronising. nowhere without Hardwick. Completely! What if he's not dead? Where's Holmes? I've got a warrant to raid the brothel. Is that a hint about Sam Tyler? What if he's not dead? Okay. Oh, Dr. Hawkins, Is he covering for yeah. Sam Tyler? I mean, that would make sense how they're doing another life on Mars. Well, that's great news. Thank you, Dr. So Sam Tyler maybe isn't dead? Why are you doing it? It's just like... Maybe Sam right. Tyler's not dead. so important about the jacket why Jean what happened just leave it Molly there's evidence Gov you can't do that forget it it's a dead man's jacket what are you hiding please tell me sometimes what was he was he like me was he trying to get back Someone. Gov, what is going on in there that you can't tell me? Whatever you think it is you're looking for, forget it. It doesn't exist. Sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith. Now, if you don't mind, we have a job to do. I don't understand. What is happening? I just saw stars. I don't understand. After the edge of the world. Did you see him? What, he saw stars? Really? Of course I didn't. He's talking colours. Do you need help with that? You can talk to me about it. I'll give it a rest, Shaz, will you? See yourself. So none of these, none of them are real? They're seeing stars? I don't know. Oh, the last one, though. Oh, that's him. The Blues Brothers. Oh, no. Look me in the eye and say it. Say so you had nothing to do with Sam Tyler's death. I haven't got time for this, Bolly. Freeze, Bevan! Drop the gun. You're not going to shoot me. Are you, Ray? Come on, Paul. You want to know the truth, Bevan? What did he just say? He's innocent. Oh, he's a prat, but he's an innocent prat. <laughs> I hope that the tribunal agrees. Personally, I wouldn't be so confident. I'll be all right, kid. If that's the tribunal, who requested it? I did. Why? That's the procedure. But did we all forget that? Okay, so... I have more questions. So Ray saw stars. We saw Ray see the stars. He said it felt like the end of the the earth or something. Um there's a relevance to stars. 
okay? Oh, it's really frustrating me that we've now had someone else who was taking, who took the pictures of the scene where Sam Tyler died. So my, I, my, I was going to say my theory, but it's a very brief idea. So either, because Shaz and Ray have now seen the stars, so maybe that's them being like realising that they're not on in a real world. I don't know. I, what I'm saying sounds absolutely shite when I'm saying it out loud. But I feel like they've been pulled from other worlds, worlds, other air, other places and are going to start going back to their reality. I feel like Jean has somehow made this world. So maybe Gene made this world where everyone did what he said and then obviously Sam Tyler came Sam time Sam Tyler came along and started ruining that. Um but he burnt Sam Tyler's stuff, so maybe is he covering up for Sam that Sam's not actually dead? I mean bloody hell. <laughs> bloody hell. I am I think I honestly think I'm just gonna have to binge the next was it three episodes um because I, I hate not knowing and it's I mean it's been wonderfully written because honestly every episode that goes on you think closer to the end you'll get more answers and I'm not I'm having more questions so yes mm, so good but so annoying thank you so much for joining me and I shall see you next week for episode six.